एवरीवन वेलकम टू द अपडेट ऑफ 18 जुलाई लेट मी स्टार्ट द डे विद अ वेरी क्रूड एनर्जी यू माइट हैव बॉट फॉर फ्रूट्स जस्ट बिफोर अ फेस्टिवल फॉर एग्जांपल बिफोर जन्माष्टमी और शिवरात्रि ईच एंड एवरी फ्रूट ऑफ वट एवर क्वालिटी दैट सेल्स फॉर टू थ्री टाइम्स द प्राइस If you wait for half an hour, then the price probably doubles. The Indian stock markets are probably in the same state right now. The festival is next week. Tuesday is the budget day. It seems that everyone needs each and every stock they can own for Tuesday, as if the stock markets will close and they will stop selling stocks after that. The biggest example of this euphoria is the IT sector, and I'll talk about the reason I say this. Today, nearly all stocks. Including the heavyweights TCS, Infosys, everything was up anywhere between one and three percent. The sector was up two point four percent. This sector carries a market cap of thirty seven lakh crores. Look at the volumes. There is no tomorrow to buy IT stocks. The P ratios are jumping. Nearly every stock is now at a fifty two week high. This is unprecedented demand. I had expected a revenue of thirty seven thousand five hundred crore. The revenue came at thirty nine three one five. This is higher than what I expected. The expenses also increased, of course, because revenue was high. Eighteen hundred crore jump in revenue at eight hundred crore additional expense. This typically indicates a significant increase in billing prices, which probably I am not expecting. Operating profit also I was expecting at eighty eight hundred crore. It came higher by six hundred crores at nine four three seven crore. operating margin is what i was expecting 24% this is higher than 23% reported last time net profit i was expecting 6200 crore this is in line because there is higher revenue and higher operating profit 6374 crores our note that this number is significant jump 637 crore operating profit increase but that has resulted only in 174 crore increase in net profit This is a cause of concern, but there is a reason for it also, which I'll discuss. EPS I was expecting at fourteen, but since the overall numbers are better, EPS also is higher, fifteen point three four. FIDI public data is not out. Persistent numbers are way worse than what I was expecting. I was expecting lower numbers only, twenty eight hundred crore revenue. The revenue came at two seven three seven crore. Expenses I was expecting at twenty three hundred crore, twenty two eight two crores, but this is also because revenue is less. operating profit expectation was 520 crore it came at 455 crore in percentage term this is pretty low operating margin i was expecting to get lowered it got lowered 17% net profit i was expecting at 350 crore it came at 306 crore eps i was expecting 22 it came at 19.89 overall i would give it a thumbs down in terms of persistent while infosys at least the reported numbers are higher do net profit is less asian paints numbers yesterday i gave it a thumbs down completely this is not an account of competition at all q1 demand was tepid only overall the industry is not looking good at all infosys i need to analyze a little more i didn't find the net profit good but overall numbers were higher there is one entry i am trying to understand let me show it to you see this number march 24 the net profit was 7975 crore this is 6374 crore this time as per screener but the tax number is 7% higher last year march number was 28% june number was 29% i was trying to understand this logic the overall tax rate for infosys is 29.12% only so i'm wondering why infosys is playing around with these numbers these numbers are obvious you have a revenue and there's a percentage of tax due on it 7% variation in tax on these numbers it makes a huge huge dent to the net profit number so if tax rate is varying so much for these large companies in reported numbers we have no choice but not to trust the net profit number and go just with profit before tax numbers which is this number here also the profit before tax for infosys has reduced from 10 to 40 to 9021 now we can celebrate that 37933 sales of june 2023 has become 39315 whatever percentage that means but net earnings is what counts in the end this is one reason i am not very jubilant with infosys results in fact in each and every headline you will find that we are only talking about net profit not the sales number see same thing with persistent also 24% 20% 26% 26 25 26 this impacts net profit considerably if this number was 20% like last time then the net profit would have been higher 
by nearly 4%. However, if you go to TCS, the numbers are more consistent, 25, 26, 25, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26. There is not a huge variation. Now, if you see the official numbers from Infosys, the cost of sales in this quarter has reduced significantly, nearly halved. I have talked about in my video also that Infosys would be better managing their cost. They have reduced the cost of sales, but magically increased revenue. That too, without increasing expenses considerably. Markets, however, want to celebrate every small win. Infosys ADR is already up 5% in pre-market. Note that Infosys has already gone up today. So don't necessarily expect that the markets tomorrow in India also will reflect so much. Yes, Infosys could open 10% up also. There is infinite money right now and people just need a reason for buying. So I already mentioned IT result wise, year on year comparisons are being celebrated. No one is talking about quarter on quarter number. LTTS also has come up with its results 1% up in terms of profit year on year. These numbers are being celebrated by taking stocks to year highs, all time highs. I totally am clueless on the euphoria. What is the expectation? Especially the P's that these companies are getting right now for this tepid growth. IT was on fire. Most of the top nifty stocks were on fire. Just HDFC bank was sulking. This is just the creamy layer. The market today was really, really bad. The nifty was up 0.7%. But look at next 50 down more than 1%. These 10 stocks made people believe that everything is fine. No, everything was not fine. FII's bought 54.84 crores. DI thankfully sold and lightened a bit. People should be thankful that DI have chosen to lighten ahead of the budget. Gold increased 74.349. SGBs are getting closer to 78,000. They might cross 80,000 next week. Silver was up as well. Since the German sale finished, Bitcoin has been going up only. Crude is looking weak because US market is looking terrible today. Markets today were choppy though they were up. Reliance was all over the place. TCS was up on HDFC was undecided. SBI2 just like HDFC was up and down. ITC continuous up. HUL a bit choppy. Infosys continuous up. Nifty up. ATEL, I have no idea why it is going up. The ARP news is already priced in. There is no net new source of money coming in for ATEL. ICICI, just like the other banks, was choppy. HDFC was down a bit. It will probably be up tomorrow while other banks will take a break and cool down. IRFC corrected 3%. Geo continued its fall. Kotak Mahindra was looking good today. That is reflecting in the volumes also. Probably some value buying coming in here. SBI is just a little shy short of 900 now. I think SBI will perhaps peak with the market when it touches 900. There was no one around to defend the defense pack. HAL, the big boy down 6%, BL down 4%. Some of the stocks had huge volumes including HAL. Metals were all terrible. That is despite Vedanta's QIP getting tremendous response. Energy sector, the power companies were down a lot. Oil pack was up because Reliance was up and ONGC was up. Oil India continued to correct 5.43%. I realized yesterday that the news is related to MSCI inclusion for Oil India. It is not a confirmed news, but that is why Oil India was going up last one week. The market breadth was very bad today. Only 13 sectors were up. No surprises. Software was the top performer followed by banking and oil and gas. Also, no surprises for the Lagarde of the day, aerospace and defense, followed by heavy machinery, electrical utilities. Autos, m, &M was up, otherwise the sector did not go anywhere. Construction engineering, big cuts, LNT was up, but RVNL down 5.5%. Cement also, most players corrected significantly. Trent for a change down 6%, let go of a lot of gains from last one or two weeks. DMART was up, the entire food and tobacco pack was on fire today also. Heavy machinery. Terrible, terrible bread today. Siemens ABB down 4%. This is coming three days ahead of the budget. There seems to be some bad news around. Metals all down. This is not looking good at all ahead of the budget. Natural gas utility is down. Oil and gas equipment down. All these sectors were running up like anything. The consumption pack, however, was up. HUL up 1.3%. Real estate, macro tech was up, but overall sector was down. Nifty 50 was looking good, 15 stocks down, 35 up. Top contributors TCS, Reliance, Infosys, HUL, State Bank of India. 
and dice was dragged by Coal India, Asian Paints, HDFC, and TPC. Huge number of stocks had high volumes today. Nifty next 50, 24 stocks down, 26 up. The ones which were down were down a lot. Trent, HL, Siemens, ABB, BL, huge volumes. This is what dragged next 50 down 1%. My trades, I bought a little of VBL, not the entire quantity which I sold earlier. I sold a lot. ICICI I had two tranches. One is a long term holding. Also, there were some stocks that I had held for the budget. I sold them. Same with HDFC Bank. Same with HUL, ITC, LIC, Bob, ONGC. All these are recent purchases. I sold all of them at nearly no profit, no loss just to clear some money. Dusan Copper was in loss. I sold 50% of the quantity. Probably remaining also I'll sell in a day or two. Metal is looking terrible right now. I had held on to Hindusan Copper because I thought that EVs will be hot in the budget. So maybe this will go up. But I'm happy to miss this gain for now and be on cash. Yesterday was a holiday. Today options trades were not good. Cash trades were good however. Tomorrow I'm expecting another red day here for options. Let me tell you why. Nifty the day was doing good. However, one shot went terribly wrong. This erased the complete profit. At that time, I entered a long position that also went bad. So nearly 12, 13,000 profit became 625 only. Bank Nifty was too volatile. I was scared of trading into it. So I just took a small position, came out. Asian paints totally blew apart. At one point, this loss became 8,000, but then it grew up again. There was euphoria around Asian paints. I don't know why the results were terrible, but there was a serious amount of buying which happened in Asian paints. What happened specifically for me was I traded in this candle. I was expecting Asian paints to open down. So it opened really, really down. I tried to buy the price kept on falling. So finally I bought at this level, then it fell further in this candle. I was nearly in a profit of around 20,000 or so, but by the time I could sell, this recovered and that 20,000 profit became 30,000 loss. And then I never recovered in that day. Some averaging also backfired. The next trade is Indusind Bank. I ran out of patience because Monday there will be demand for margin. It will be the last week and I'll have to provide delivery margin. Terrible trade I have ended up with is Infosys where I have a short position. It is already showing a loss. This will probably become a loss of 40, 50,000 in the first minute itself tomorrow based upon the euphoria which is visible in NASDAQ right now. So overall, I had rescued the losses from last week very well in the last five days. But all that will go for a toss today and tomorrow. This will probably cross 1 lakh tomorrow. Today I was discussing with a good wise friend on what's really happening. What he said that is 95% market in any case loses money. They are playing with FIIs, other counterparts are DIIs who have infinite money, their KRA is to invest money and take a percentage cut out of it. They really don't care much if their portfolio falls by 50% tomorrow, they will still get their salary, maybe a little less commission. This is a small me trying to guess the coordinated moves, market, where it is heading, what results are doing, etc. All of them want Infosys to go up. Who am I to short the market? I did. So I'll end up with losses. So the moral of the story is there is no point in fighting 99% of the world who have no interest in figuring out whether results are good or bad, whether the company is growing or not growing. They have money. They have to put it in stock market. Thanks to YouTube influencers, they feel that having money in the bank account and not in stock market is bad, even if they have to do it for 15 days. So what is the point in me fighting all the forces and losing money consistently by taking these buy or sell decisions two or three days ahead of the remaining market? Now, do I expect the budget to be bad? The answer is absolute no. The worst I expect is LTCG, STCG, something will happen around them, which markets may not like. There may be something that FIIs don't like. I don't think FIIs will totally be caught by surprise by anything coming their way. They have strong years everywhere. Am I expecting huge reforms? Some reforms will come. One is because of the coalition government, the defense story, all those will play. There will be a large defense budget given. Shipping companies will get good orders. My concern is more on delivery. Like for example, I'm saying IT is growing at one or 3%. 
I am continuously seeing HAL defaulting on deliveries of Tejas aircrafts. I have done some research. I will probably release a video soon. The shipping companies we are talking about, they are not growing. The global shipping companies are too large. So our companies cannot get international orders to the scale that we are generally expecting in the market. Only market has set the expectation. No one has given that declaration. Banks will reflect the economy. HDFC Bank has just recently moved. Beside ICICA Bank, no bank is looking strong. Yes, SBI is at an all-time high. But SBI is also one of the most inefficient banks. Is there going to be something in the budget that will suddenly make SBI efficient? Same government has been around for nearly 10 plus years now. They have not managed till now. So next 2-3 months, I think the expectations will get a lot more rational. Budget, even if it is fantastic, the good news is already priced in to a very large extent. That is why I sold so much inventory today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully the losses will be lesser than what I'm expecting right now.